So before solving this question, let's take a quick recap of what Raoult's law is. Now Raoult's law states that for a solution of volatile liquids, the partial pressure of each component of the solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction. For instance, if this is what our solution is, our solution contains two components, let's say A and B, both are volatile liquids, then the partial vapor pressure of component A, that is PA, is proportional to its mole fraction in the solution, that is PA is proportional to XA. Similarly, the partial vapor pressure of component B, PB, is directly proportional to XB. Now, if you remove the proportionality, it becomes PA is equal to PA0 into XA and PB is equal to PB0 into XB. Now, the proportionality constants PA0 and PB0 refer to the vapor pressure of the pure liquids A and B at the same temperature. Now, the total pressure exerted on the solution phase would simply be the sum of the partial pressure of both the components of the solution. Correct? So, P total would be PA plus PB. And what do we know is P and PB here? PA is PA naught XA and PB is PB naught XB. Now, we also know that sum of the mole fractions of all the components in a mixture would be equal to 1. So, XA plus XB should be equal to 1. Basically, it's not XA, XB. The actual sign for mole fraction, as we all know, is chi. So, for simplicity, let's just assume it is X, okay? Then, we can rephrase this as PA0 into 1 minus XB plus PB0 into XB. So, finally, we get PA0 plus PB0 minus PA0 into XB. So, you can express the total pressure in terms of the mole fraction of one of the components of the liquid mixture. Now, this is very, very powerful tool. Now, just as we can find the composition in the liquid phase, which is XA and XB, the mole fractions of both the components, we can similarly find the composition in the vapor phase. So, for that, let's assume YA and YB are the mole fractions of components A and B in the vapor phase. Then, the composition vapor phase YA can be obtained from PA by P total because this is from directly from Dalton's law of partial pressures and YB can be obtained from PB by P total because we know that partial pressure A in vapor phase is nothing but mole fraction of the component in the vapor phase multiplied by the total pressure. So from here you can get the composition of the vapor phase which is YA and YB. Okay, so although I wanted to keep it really short, I have explained way too much about Raoult's law here. So let's now directly jump to the question, okay? Alright, so we are given vapor pressure of pure liquids A and B which are 300 and 600 mmHg and also the total vapor pressure of the liquid mixture which is 500 mmHg, alright? So let's now find out the composition of the liquid mixture. So let's quickly write down whatever details is given in the question just for a reference. Now we know that the total pressure exerted over the solution phase P total is equal to sum of the vapor pressure of the individual components which is PA plus PB. Now this can be further written as PA naught XA plus PB naught XB. Now we have information PA0 and PB0 and we also know that some of the mole fractions of the individual components in a mixture is equal to 1. So XA plus XB is equal to 1. So using this we can easily rearrange this equation in the following way. Now this is nothing but PA0 plus PB0 minus PA0 into XB. By substituting these values, you will get 300 plus 300 into XP. And what is the P total here? It is 500. So, on solving this, we get 
एक्स बी इज फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड टू बाय थ्री एंड एक्स ए इज वन वन माइनस एक्स बी एंड दैट इज वन बाय थ्री देर फोर द कॉम्पोजिशन इन द लिक्विड मिक्सचर एक्स ए इज टू एक्स बी इज वन इज टू टू Now to find out the composition in the vapor phase we can use the Dalton's law of partial pressures it states that the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases is the sum of the pressures that each gas would exert if it were alone so let's assume that the mole fractions of a and b in vapor phase are ya and yb okay now ya is nothing but partial pressure of a divided by the total pressure Correct, and Y B will be one minus Y A because of course a small fraction, right? Now, how do we arrive at P A here? P A is nothing but P A naught into X A. Correct. Now, I'm sorry, this does not look like P. By substituting the values of P A naught, which is three hundred mm Hg, and uh, X A here, what we have is one by three, right? So three hundred into one by three gives you P A, which is hundred mm Hg. All right. So we have to simply substitute this value here, which is hundred divided by P total. P total is five hundred. So Y A is one by five, and Y B becomes one minus one by five, which is four by five. So this is the composition in vapor phase. Y A is to Y B is equal to one is to four. So this is the liquid phase. This is the liquid composition, and this is the composition in the vapor phase.